Hey, what's happening, Johnny Bean? It's David Bowie. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> hey, hey, what happened? I just my my thing just disappeared. Hey, man, my screen you got... just went away. Uh oh. Where'd it go? Oh, there you are. <laughs> oh my God! There's always something. There's always something. I know. Look what I'm wearing. Oh, I got to. I thought we had plans. I got to wear mine. I thought we had plans to match today in the Vega trim. Uh, oh, you got uh, your Johnny Bean shirt right on. I got my David Bowie cup holder right here. Works great. <laughs> cool. Anyway, so, you know what we're doing here today, right? Do you remember? Not sure. I got. I got to try to. Uh... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm on my phone. How? I'm gonna try to jump on my computer, but all right. Do your thing, right. man. I'm gonna say oh. hi to the chat while you're here. It's, it it's Guitar Mod Squad show here on a Sunday morning here. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm having uh, some Colombian coffee out of my. Uh, David Bowie mug that my wife, when she first saw this mug in the cupboard, she's like, who is that woman? <laughs> Nedster, Ned Temple, man. Look at that guy. He is so incredibly cute. Look at that. He's just all spread eagle on you there, man. <laughs> hmm. Looks like you had a long night of cat and mouse games. Yeah, well, you were here. That was craziness, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was that was wild. He was out there getting a little <laughs> with the other cats too, probably. Hi. <laughs> on a Saturday night, what's happening? So let me say hi to the chat. We're gonna start at the very tippity top with Johnny Bean saying "Hey now" at eight fifty-two. Look at that, way inside on the early early riser. Johnny Bean, you were I I dude. Sorry about the GTA gaming last night. I was totally jazzing to kind of play because it's been a while. Jasmine, I don't know. Jones. Yeah, no, it's Jones. cool. And uh, my it's sweetie was having a hard time sleeping. She's been having a hard time, hard time sleeping, headaches mm -hmm. and stuff from this thing that she has. <laughs> that oh. Hopefully, I don't get from her. But anyway, right. the bottom line is, uh, one of the things that helps her sleep is if I just tell her any kind of stories with my monotone voice like this. I just keep talking like this, and it just puts her out. Puts her out. Took a while, so I was telling her Nam stories. Exactly. See, boring, <laughs> boring. <laughs> no, but um, but yeah. Is there, anything anybody, that, is there anybody uh, even in here? I can't see. The yeah, chat. yeah. There's uh, L and M Guitar Corner said at eight fifty eight. There's eight people here now. So far, oh, everyone's watching Dave and uh, Mark right now because they're doing their. Well, last you don't mention that because you don't want them jumping over there. Well, I think more they, people. They're, they Laz, came from there. You don't mention that. You don't mention all right, that. All right, Johnny. You're right. You got to learn how to do this stuff, man. You don't mention when somebody else is on because everybody will jump over there. But the thing is, they came from there, I think, because, you know, well, hopefully you guys did. Don't go there. Watch their rerun. Who cares, right? This is more exciting. This is live. You'd rather watch this. Live. <laughs> watch, watch this. That. Nobody cares. Don't watch that. Nobody cares. Charles 75 in comes in at 923 with Zach Thong right behind at 940. I'm mean, 924. Zach, and, Zach, uh, Thong. Yeah, man. Zach, you ruled it. He's Tim awesome, Thomas, man. of course, another one of those Tim who Thomas. ruled in our chat at 929. And Janice Lala says, Good afternoon from Connecticut, I think. <laughs> and William De Silva says, Hey, Laz. Hey, everyone. And they then Stace, Stace White, Stace White. Hey, Stace. That's a new name. Subscribe, like, comment, all those things. We really love new people here. James G then popping in at 9.32. Sean Hockey, also in Sean Hockey. And I think that is pretty much down to the bottom of the, the row here. Everyone's saying hi to each other. Um, you guys know what I'm doing on the porch, right? I think you do. We're going to finish this baby. That's right. We're going to finish this thing. Nice. The headstock, the headstock breakage, repairage. And I have a number of accoutrements here, as they say in Francais, uh, to do that. 
And if you guys really get bored, I can even file the fret files down with my my fret filing system here. Oh, from, uh, exciting. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm, gonna I go, these, I'm gonna go over to Tone Talk. I'll see you later. I got these special <laughs> little like like, like these fret covers and all that, you know. Uh, I even have this. Check this thing out. You probably have never seen this before. What in the heck in that? Right? Oh my gosh! This is actually is that thing legal? Fret, yeah, it's a fret leveling file. It's from Alien Technology here from Livermore Labs here, right around the corner. Um, basically, it's a fret leveling file from two Mac. And generally, you know, the way you'd want to use this is, uh, you know, it has the different spacing so that this section here, these two sections here, and it's diamond coded file, of course, these two sections here mm. ride the other, oh, the other frets, and then you knock down the higher fret with the one. So you have the different sizes. There's that size, that size, that size, and that size. And it's nice and thick, nice and heavy, so you don't have to press down. You just kind of just rub over it, <laughs> right? I, like and I got that. my handy-dandy ESP tool that every Guitar Mod Squad member should have. Definitely get yourself an ESP tool or something like this. But the ESP brand one is good because it's nice and thick. It's not cheap like some of those Amazon ones. You know, we love Amazon, though. Nothing wrong with Amazon. I love Amazon. Um, Watch yeah. my show on Amazon. Coming soon. Absolutely. Watching. Deja Voodoo popped in here as well. What's up? Cool idea, he says. And then, uh, and of course, you got to have the pointer, the pink pointer, right? Because how else will you know what I'm what I'm working on? I'm working on this right here. Right? Pick this up at uh, the, uh, the school supply store when I went with my sweetie. And uh, and that's that's pretty much. I also have this. This is kind of cool. You guys should check this thing out. So you can have the strings on and use this too. But this is also a stew Mac tool. And what this is is like a fret crown and end kind of file. So it's also diamond coated right here. And you know you just like go. Yeah, I can see. I can see that. You hear that? It's like dentistry. Anyway, Ouch. so. That's what you use that for. And then the other thing I'm going to be using is this stuff. If you don't know what this stuff is, here's a big sheet of it so you can go buy it at your local paint store or Home Depot or Lowe's or whatever. It's basically scotch bright pad, and, and it has a pretty good grit to it. They also make a gray one that's a much finer grit than this, like triple O uh, kind of uh, uh, steel wool. But this works in place of steel wool. This is great to use because steel wool – you know, will break. The steel parts are going to go all over. And then sometimes if you have like a guitar that has pickups on it, like an electric guitar, mm -hmm. of course, that steel will go to the magnets and you got to cover the magnets and blah, blah, blah. Well, with this, you don't have to worry about that. Like in the case of what we're going to be doing over here, you can like do some fine sanding with something like this, right? So let's see. And then the final things are way over here. I don't know if you can see them over here. This is my spray cans. And I've got my new Martin strings, which I'm not going to put on. I bought these at that, that guitar center. Remember when we went and I got it? Maybe you were there. Um, Maybe, so I yeah. bought these. I got these for 20 bucks, 22 bucks. I got a set of five packs of 12 to 54 80 20 bronze M140s. Cool. Martins, right? For 20 something bucks. Guitar center. I love guitar center. And you got to have your, your, you know, your rag, your uh, do rag. <laughs> and go Warriors, man, because the Warriors won game four. So now it's two and two. Was that and yesterday? We'll see, and we'll see who wins. Yeah. Who won now, yesterday? Because um, they were uh, there was a was, game on from it was Oakland. Friday. No, yes. Well, there was some game from Oakland yesterday. Because I was oh, maybe that when was I was game at that, five. When who I was won game the five? I didn't even look the TV, at that. The TV in the background was playing it. I gotta look it up now. I gotta look up. I don't know. Ewok well, teeth. I mean, uh, <laughs> wow. Ewok teeth. Ewok yeah. teeth. And I might have to get a real nice Ewok nut, Ewok teeth nut for here, right? If you guys know what I'm, don't know what I'm talking about, watch uh, Johnny's show from last night. Oh, look at that. So let's see, game four, <laughs> game five. Yeah, game five is set uh, for tomorrow at 6 p.m. So, yeah, the Warriors won game four, 107 to 97, because Curry was just on fire. He was like, Three shots, like, poof, poof. It was amazing. 
Anyway, and I've got a little bit of sandpaper, but this is like a, a 320 grit that's all, already been used. So it's probably down to about like a... a Looks like a tortilla. <laughs> so, uh, so we've got all that stuff here ready to roll. And then, of course, I've got... Let me grab this from here. I forgot. And of course, I have he left. Uh, everybody run the green tape, the green tape, which is the frog tape, um, the green frog tape. This stuff is just as good as blue painter's tape, uh, but maybe a little bit better, supposedly. And we're going to use this to mask around the areas of the headstock we don't want black on, right? And then the other thing I thought would be cool to do, since we're modding this guitar, right? We're not just repairing it. We're going to mod the holy, you know what, out of this thing. What I'm also going to do this thing is the back of the neck is uh, glossy, as you can probably see. Sunshine, there we go. Sunshine, glossy. And I got some satin finish and matte finish. I'm going to experiment with which one I like better. But this brand of spray is expensive, but it's really high quality stuff, man. Um, quality stuff. Mohawk. Quality. So I got satin or satin, as some people like to call it, and flat. Satan or flat, you choose. And if you want to go on the cheaper scale of lacquers that you can buy at Home Depot or something, you have to find that at like a specialty pro paint shop. But if you want to get something like at Lowe's or Home Depot, this deft stuff is pretty good too. Also Satan finish. Mm. Um, Satan finish is the best. <laughs> anyway, Satin. Um, they also have it in gloss and semi-gloss, but this stuff sprays on way thicker, so you have to really watch out with this stuff. So be careful. Hey, to be and deja vu. I think I said hi. To be and then for the the final coloring oh. coat of black here. You're gonna do all this today? I know. Yeah. Well, I got a whole hour, so it's not gonna take long. Believe it or not, hour. this stuff You're dries so fast. Into it. I know. This this satinism, <laughs> deja vu is funny. That was a good one. Um, this this uh, high gloss or black gloss uh, colored lacquer enamel. So what this is, it's not a spray paint. It's actually lacquer with black finish or coloring in it. So it'll dry on and much better than like most spray can blacks or whatever. It's an actual lacquer that is really a high quality lacquer. And all these finishes dry so fast that you know i could probably do all this in one day um well within an hour possibly even um but honestly i think what would make the most sense to do is do the back of the neck here first see where we have that the the break the glue joint and all and i'm gonna just shoot some clear on there and see how it looks but before we do that we have to remove these right so i will demonstrate that you can use a socket kind of wrench thing if you want to but i'm just going to go esp tool right and this thing has teeth on two opposite ends so there's one over here one on that side so that if you either tighten or loosen right so we're going to be loosening so let me go ahead and i didn't bring the extra tripod no, tripod tripod and all that i'm just going to angle that down like that and i think you guys can go without looking at my face for a little while right i'm sure that would be fine right. i've got two faces they can look at they can look at yeah you got you got your regular face and your shirt face and it's kind of good that you're matching now with uh you got two faces yeah you got two faces johnny you're are you two-faced <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you know, you just loosen this like this and then and then do the rest by hand. Um, and these are, by the way, some really nice tuners that I bought at our friends where Margaret Scranton works. Scranton or Scranton? Scranton. Scranton. Margaret Scranton, yeah. Margaret Scranton works over at uh, Jams Music. Jams. Where I think it's my, my buddy John Jams. owns that place. He's not really my buddy. Why do I look so weird? You don't look weird. You look like yourself in the picture, man. I mean, no, that, I don't. You look, look exactly really like yourself, man. I think it's because the camera angle is going upwards rather than downwards. And you usually have it the other way. So you're getting that double chin thing going on there, Johnny. All right, I'm going to put these over here in order. They look really strange. Yeah. And uh, 
These are not locking tuners, because why? <laughs> who puts locking tuners on acoustics? Does anyone put lock? Pooh Ninja probably does. Pooh Ninja, what's up? Of course, why not? Doing why wouldn't you put locking tuners on an acoustic? Already, he says, Johnny is already bored. Dude, it's B-O-R-E-D. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's already bored. Oh, yeah. This is horrible. Says he's got no face. Oh, that's right. You've got that mask. I, I forgot your face was completely burned off during the moon landing. I know. That was that was tragic, dude. I couldn't believe that. I mean, the 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 video on that should have gone viral, but now no one can find it. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if you knew, but Pooh is an alien. No, I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah, he is. That's crazy. Yeah, I, you know, the little green men at Livermore Labs told me all about the tragic, and I saw the, I saw the footage. Mm -hmm. um, they showed it to me, and yeah, I almost cried, man. It was, it was hard to watch, who burning up in flames, going down, but somehow he survived. It's amazing. Hey, the lamb was <laughs> Johnny is quarter song. <laughs> Yeah, see, your camera angle is going up under your chin right now, and that's why you look different than your normal self. No, normally that's be, that's not the reason. Normally would be angled downward. That's not the reason. Yeah, because I'm on my phone. Oh, that's the other reason. I'm oh, on my damn. phone. I'm not here because I, I wasn't going to be here. I'm supposed to leave. Oh, you got to go. Nelson Rodriguez is here as well. Larravee just came out with acoustic locks, Vince. and they look cool. All right. See, Nelson's got the infos. Now, what's going on out there and the high tech of acoustic guitars? Yeah, at uh, Martin, they had some cool guitars, but you know, the thing about NAM is it's so crazy, you, you can't really get the things done that you want to get done there. I mean, I mean, you do get the things you have to get done when you're there, you got to get your stuff done, right? But the thing is, it's hard to, to do it all. All right, first off, let me do this. First off, we're going to do the we're going to do the back first. So we're going to go like this. What was that? Does that look good? And then, you know, basically, I'm just going to shoot some clear on this. But what I really need to do is just tape over this binding. All right. So let's slide her up a little bit here. Ooh, I hate when the tape sticks to itself like that. Stick this on here like that. Okay. I'm going to take a little of this in here. A little bit right here. Over a little bit of that. And I'm probably going to remove this nut anyway, but I'm still covering it. Cover your nut. Yeah, cover your nuts, man. Don't let them leave them, leave them exposed. That's gross. Yeah, that's just weird. <laughs> that is weird. That is weird, John. You're right. Tape them up. No nut exposure here, man. So, and I'm not going all the way down the neck right now because I still have to sand some of this, uh, lightly sand it to give it the satin finish. Or I could just, you know, or I don't even shoot finish over it. I just go like this. And look at that. Oh, smooth as a baby's butt. Love it. All right, so let me, let me go ahead and uh, do a little bit of of this on here and I can I can go ahead and use that sandpaper wherever I put it here it is definitely want to hit these areas here where I was doing a lot more oh airplanes flying overhead man do you guys see that <laughs> oh my gosh oh my god And, and I'm thinking I might even do a uh, satin finish on the entire neck, the headstock and all. What do you guys think? Tell me your opinions. Yeah, do the whole thing. Yeah, do the whole thing, right? Do all of it. Come here. Do all that stuff. Ugh. So, you know, this was a $100 guitar. So all this work I'm doing on this, I'm just doing for funsies. 
and for the, the YouTubes out there, the people in the YouTubes, you know, don't have fear. This kind of stuff is not that hard to do. You just have to take the time, have an inordinate amount of uh, patience, and and just do it, man. Get get the right products. The right products does help. I think it, it, you know, you get a more pro finish in the end if you use the right kind of products. Gotta have a sip of the old Bowie here. Yeah, but Vega Trend, man, those guys were cool. I gotta put up that video. Yep, have you put that video up yet? No. Oh, that reminds me. I, I have a video to put up. Yeah, you got you got a video tonight too that you're doing a live one, right? Yeah. You gotta read the instructions a little bit before the show, just so you you have you know some familiarity with what you're gonna need to do. Um, but really, you could probably just open the box and, and figure it out from there. It's that easy. I mean, it's just stupid easy putting that thing on. Okay, we'll see. You're going to be, really? That's all it takes? Wow. We'll see. Gonna be, we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. I know, uh, I'm gonna go I, to I know uh, Michael B. was going to jump on, and he has something he wants to show off. He just got Oh, that's there. right, right? Yeah, that's exciting. So, they the not, not, might not be time. I might just, I might do it like a dedicated video for the Vega Trump. Right. Like Michael B. Time. has a new guitar day, right? Well, new gear day. It's not a guitar. Oh, I see. Okay, new gear. Interesting. Now we're getting more information. Yeah. Very cool. Right? Yeah, and I'm excited about that um, that uh, head that you got. I mean, the head, the uh, the cabinet that you got, that Jarshall <laughs> head or cabinet, the Jarshall cabinet. It That's sounds cool. awesome. Yeah. What kind of speakers are in there? Did you look or did he tell you? No, I didn't look. He told me. He told you? He's actually, uh, he's going to come on at some point and talk about it. Oh, that's great. So let's not talk about it until then, right? He's going to be here for roughly another month, right? I don't know. Yeah. Not and sure. That, that, uh, that visit to that other friend of yours, um, that's going to happen, huh? Uh, maybe. 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 We'll see. I'm in on that. Just we'll tell see. me if, if you can bring me in on that, man. I've, I've been listening to his stuff, by the way. You mentioned that, and wow, I missed out not listening to that guy back in the day. Holy crap! You know what's interesting to me is that that I have a lot in common with that guy, and that he plays and does a lot of very melodic stuff. I really, really like how he plays and his style and his arrangements and musical writing is very, very. God, how you know? Thematic, uh -huh. like themes, like, you know, big thematic kind of like movie soundtrack kind of stuff. I, I mean, that's, I, I wanted to do that all my life. That's kind of like really what I wish I'd been able to get into. And, um, and his stuff is like that. And so I, I really, really love his stuff. I'm, I'm going to start collecting anything I can, Jason Becker now, because, yeah, that guy's oh, amazing. Man. And then he's just such an inspiration. Well then, you, you'll be you'll be excited to see this. Oh, well, check this out! I, I have I have Jason Becker stuff because oh, dude, yeah, you know, since I know him, oh, of course, <laughs> I have. Where is it? Look at this! Look at this right here. See this bag? Uh huh. This is a J Jason Becker bag. What is that? Like a like a gizmo taking a it's poop? a dog it's a dog taking a dump. It looks That's like a... Gizmo from that movie. What was it called? The one where if you give them food after midnight, they turn into those little demons. Ewoks. <laughs> Ewoks. No, Gizmo. What anyway, was Gizmo? Yeah, Grem so Gremlins. What I'm about. Gremlins. 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 Thank you. Gremlins. Yeah. Anyway, this is a Jason Becker tote bag. That's I so actually cool, got man. that from his from one of his birthday parties. <laughs> That's cool. This is man. actually this logo would be on his guitar picks. Super cool. Right yeah, I, I might actually buy his uh, his signature Kiesel guitar, just even though it's a Kiesel. It's a well, we can like Kiesel now because the guy that hated them is around anymore. So, yeah, right. We can actually support Kiesel all we want. All right, now let's support Kiesel. I mean, I personally have <laughs> never had a problem with Kiesel, you know. 
Right, and I've heard a lot of the other people really like Kiesel, you know. Kiesel, and, I've, awesome. and I've also heard that uh, they've had a turnaround in their customer service as well. So, you know, maybe, maybe you know, you don't have to, Wait. you know, constantly bash somebody because of a bad experience. Hey, like I said, I never had a problem with them. But hey, everybody, yeah. check out Kiesel. Check out Kiesel. <laughs> Laz. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get the little, you got to get the little star shine going on there, you know. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <Ding>. <laughs> that's, so <laughs> that's so funny, man. <laughs> so I'm going round and round here. Round and round. Sanding your head stuck till it's smooth. Anyway. Round and round. So everything is nicely sanded off now. There we are. All right, I'm All right, in the chat. I'm gonna suck I see it you up. guys now. There's 17 people up. watching this. I thought there was like three people on here. There's I don't know how many people are there here. There's like 17. It, right on, dude. Hey everybody. Oh my god. 17 people. I can't even hear. What's that? Oh, I'm sorry about that. I should have warned oh. you. I should have uh, warned you, but you oh did see God. that the vacuum was coming out. Okay. And then if you guys want to know what I had for breakfast or I'm having for breakfast, my sweetie made this what she calls a breakfast tortilla. It's got uh, eggs, a little flour, some spinach and other greens, um, tomatoes, red onions, and piment oh no, pimento. No, what do they call it? Kalamata olives and cilantro chopped up. Tasty guitars and grub. Tasty, tasty breakfast. You can just grab it like this. Mmm, yeah, mmm, so good. My little napkin here. Okay. All right, so here we go. We're going to do the clear coat on the back side first. Looks pretty good. Actually, no. I'm sorry. We're going to do the front side first. Mm -hmm. Because the front side, we're going to shoot a little of the... That's carbon. the side that anybody looks at is the front. You know what? Let's do... Um, it doesn't really matter which side you start. Honestly. It just doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. Who knows that movie? It just doesn't matter. Bill Murray, classic movie from the 80s. Might have actually been 70s. Just doesn't matter. There we go. All right. Nothing matters. Nothing matters. Nothing is matters. Anyway. Oh, copyright strike. I know. You can't even sing copyright songs anymore, man. You can't even sing cop. You can't even like sing it badly no. like that. No, actually, right. technically, you can't even recite the lyrics. They'll get you if you re recite. Well, this is true. This is the truth. You know what's really weird about all that is how is their music going to survive if people can't like enjoy it in some way? I mean, I mean, well, they're, well, they're, what they're, what happened to there. music in the sense that you it. can't even? It'll be, it'll you know, be played regardless. Mm -hmm. It'll. It, it's. I mean, don't they already make enough money? I mean, think about it. The way I look at house. it, like, let's say you're you're working on a tire, you're at a tire shop, and you put a tire on a car. You did that one job. You got paid for that one job for that couple hours worth of work. You're done. Next job. Here, they, these guys write a song, 30, 40 years ago, and they keep selling the same thing over and over and over again. They don't even have to work anymore. It's like. 
I, I get it. It's cool and everything. But at the same time, man, you made your money on that job or you, you did your work on it. So now it belongs to the world. <laughs> I don't know. And if you're like printing a book or you're printing a CD or printing T-shirts or printing vinyl and people buy that. Yeah, make your money on that. But I guess for me, it just seems to me like like the way I think about music, it's not like I own that music. I, I created it in a way, but I mean, you know. I don't know. That's just, I just I find it well, I find a little hard to. Laz, you've never written a song. Metal at Hippie is still waiting for your song. Yeah. Well, you know, like they say, it might be worth the wait. It might not. <laughs> but uh, I don't want to put crap out either. So, like what your well, stuff what, was what the other day here? when you you played your stuff on there, <laughs> that was great. I want to put I want to put something you know quality because there's so much music out there and and there's a lot of bad music out there and there's a lot of good music out there i'd rather be known for good music <laughs> not bad music you know? well you gotta you gotta make music can you just pay a fee to youtube and not get flagged no james g you can't zach thong did you tell lads about the funny incident that happened last night in gta which was that hold on let did me I, spray did this I clip, and tell me. did i clip that yeah, I'm going from this side first. Here we go. Dude, don't you have a taco sitting next to that? No, I moved it away. I don't know if I'd be eating around spraying the uh, guitars. And I can even do this. This is so exciting. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, you were talking about when uh, when Dan Tana was like flipping out in the in the DeLorean. Here, I'll give you guys this copy. Now, the I also grabbed another can of some finish because I knew that this was going to occur. Notice on the back here where the the sanding occurred, right where I sanded, and it's discolored, right? That one. It's lighter where the. Uh, here, let me let me turn this. Up. You guys, check out this clip. See, it's it's lighter around that area, right? You see it? Oh, you can't see it. I should have brought a light. You know what? Let me do this. That way you guys can see better. Put some light on the situation. Is that helping? Yeah. See? No. You can't see anything. <laughs> see where it's it's dark and lighter? Anyway. Zach. Yeah, if it was the part where Dan Tana was like flipping out in the, in the car. Yeah, I clipped it. That's it. It's in the chat. Check it out, you guys. And please follow me on Twitch. That's all I want from Laz's birthday, which is on Wednesday. So right around here. Oh, yeah. Let me use. This is why I got this thing. Hold on a second. Right around here, you see that there's like these little indentations on the headstock from when it fell. Look at that little thing. And That's right funny. here, in right, <laughs> in right here, you can see the color is lighter than here. So here it's darker, here it's darker. So what to do? Well, that's why this Mohawk finish is great. Because I also, oh got, uh, oh. I also oh. got some of this tone finish in this American medium brown American walnut color. See that? And I can shoot a little on this, and it's gonna it's gonna colorize it so that it's gonna look way better. So I'll show you what I mean. And if I wasn't outdoors, you guys, I'd definitely be wearing a mask. Um, I was even gonna grab a like a mask, like an N95 mask. But honestly, the wind is there's a little bit of wind here today, and it's blowing right through, and I'm not. You know, I'm not exposed, but let me see if I can get it so you guys can really see what I'm talking about here. 
you've got to be able to see that. Yeah, now you can really see it. See how it's so much lighter right there where the standing uh -huh. goes? Yeah. Uh -huh. So watch what happens when I now shoot a little of this stuff on here. Okay. And I actually might do this like this. Are you allowed to be doing that back there? Yes. I'm the manager. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> okay. Now I put it on a little thick because I'm going to knock it down some once it's dry. But... Yeah, I wish I brought my light out here. Anyway, but I basically added some color to it now. I don't know if you can see it better like that. Or maybe I can go like this. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, you can see that now. Oh, that's way better. Right? All right. Now, with that, that scotch pad huh? stuff, literally in a couple minutes, really? I can, I can really? knock that down some with some, you know, sandpaper or whatever. So while that's drying, I'm going to flip her around and do the other side. Les, can you like bust into people's places and, and demand like breakfast? You know, I'm sure there are people out there that do that kind of thing, managers, but no. I don't. Hey, you guys had one? We did? You had one that, made, that asked, made your mom make it. Oh, sleep. yeah. Yeah, we've had one. Not us, but years ago. Yeah. All my, all my tenants love me because, you know. I'm a diplomatic, easygoing guy, and I, I take care of them because I like my free rent. <laughs> now it's on the internet forever. Yeah. Well, they know I get free rent. I mean, that's the whole idea. That's the whole idea be behind this guitar show. Exactly. So now I'm taking it down with this. Oops, you're not even watching. You don't wait, yeah, wait, wait, wait. It says here in the title and more Nam talk. Oh, yeah, Nam talk, Johnny. Talk about Nam. Nam. Well, you know, I'm wearing my Vega right. Trim thing. We made our connections with Vega Trim. You want to tell people some more stories about Nam? Nam was awesome. We had a great time. Lots of fun stuff. Lots. And but uh, don't go next time because nobody cares. We'll go. <laughs> I'll be there. Yeah. I'll be there next time. It'll be it'll be great. Dude, I hope next time uh, our buddy Octopus Ears can come along with us. Cause... Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, have him as your intern. Yeah. You know, well, I mean, that's what you you want an octopus for an intern because they got all those arms. You're right. They, they can, can do everything. Cameras from multiple angles, hold microphones, and wow, great, great thinking. And he's got ears, so he can hear really well also comes in handy you know with music <laughs> i'll probably hook up with him next week uh and play some golf if i if i can you know prove, i gotta prove listen myself, to uh symptomless and free of the thing all right there we go all right so now i'm going to shoot some clear over the top here and even though the body of this guitar is glossy I might actually, I'm going to mod the holy you know what out of this thing. So I might change this black pick guard to a tortoise shell one. I might, uh, you know, take the finish off this thing to some degree or just dull it down and carve little Roxy's flying around with Maximus and, and Indigo or three birds, uh, you know, around there. Just make it a fun guitar, right? Okay. I'm going to hit the vacuum cleaner, Johnny. So plug your ears. I'm not even listening. All right. Here we go. Super fun, right? Isn't this super fun? <laughs> Let me get a little closer for you guys. Doesn't that look good? You want to see what it looks like before I shoot the clear on it? 
Now, the only bad thing about working out in this environment is that there's all kinds of particulate matter flying around. But if you put the finish on really thin, you're probably going to be okay with your finish work. You know what I mean? All right, let's do it. And I'm using flat still. I'm using the flat clear now because I'll put the satin over the, the clear. I mean, over the flat. Oops, that's no good. So sometimes you have it spurt like that. What you want to do then is clean the tip. If it spurts like that, <laughs> the tip got messed up. Now it kind of jacked it all up. It's got, look, you know, I got I to gotta oh sand it again. And that's an, also another good tip is don't, first squirt, don't go right at what you're working on. Squirt it away and then bring it in. Otherwise, <laughs> so sometimes, you know, sometimes making these kind of little mistakes are good on the show because then people will learn from my mistakes. Right? Right, Johnny? Yes. And if you really want to go crazy, you can wet sand this and stuff. But this is a Mitchell guitar, and it's going to be like a, a summertime. I'm, Dude, let's go do a bonfire in the beach somewhere. I haven't done that in so long. I want to do that. Beach bonfire party, you know. There's some beaches down in Big Sur area that, that are great for that. Just south of you, you know? Mm -hmm. and, Let's go. Uh, I haven't done that in a long time. This is going to be one of them, you know, beach bonfire beater guitars. The BBB. All right. Shaking it up. Shake it up. Anyway, I better not sing songs even. I'll get sued. Yeah, what are you going to do? All right. I think we're ready. Now, if you really want to go crazy with when you're doing the finish and you want it to be fast drying, is you hit it with a blow dryer from about a foot away and quickly dry it. I already see that there's some lint little particulate matter right there and right, oh, hold on. Right there and right there, there's some something that landed on the thing, damn it. So I already see, yeah, right, right. Actually, three spots. Here's a little piece of lint, here's a little piece of lint, here's a little. So we're gonna have to sand that out again and then shoot it again because of that. What I might do is for the last coating, when I shoot the last coat, I'll hold it up right. That way there's less likely a chance of something landing on the top. And that's why when people do finish on a guitar, normally you see them hanging the guitar on something within inside like of a box or something. You get like a cardboard box. You create yourself like a little mini isolation sound or sound booth, isolation paint booth, right? All right, so while that's drying, let's flip this around and do this side and now you guys can see that the crack is visible here can you guys see that here let me go like this oops can you guys see that uh no let's get it together okay now you can kind of see it yeah there you go see the crack is visible right there right there I know I'm taking it too far with that stupid little hand thing, but it's cracking me up, so I love it. <laughs> uh, anyway, so, ooh, oh, that thing wouldn't minimize. Oh, you know, that's the one bad thing about touch screens. Oh, anyway, um, so blue glow in the water. What, what are you talking about? Anyway, so it's a little bit dark around here, and then we've got that little bit of uh, crack that's still showing. What you can do is just keep filling it with lacquer until it just fills up right? Some people will fill it with some super glue and then sand that off. That's another good technique. Um, you know, I'm going to actually sand some of this off, take some of this color off. It's a little too dark. Knock it down a little bit. And what's nice about this lacquer finish by Mohawk is that you know, you can lightly sand off some of the finish like this because it's inside the lacquer and, and it really kind of blends really well. You can really 
get it to blend out nicely, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. Probably not using the proper terms for all this stuff, but blend it out by giving it a nice little fine sanding. And the other side of it, too, is that if I was really looking to do this perfect, perfectly, I would take the extra time, but I don't care that much about this guitar. <laughs> I was going to throw it away, actually, but I uh, decided to use it as a perfect guitar mod squad tool for the show, right? Good opportunity to practice some skills on doing a headstock repair or whatever, right? So now I'm just looking for how the color's blending together here. And I'm knocking down some parts where it's darker, where it's lighter. I'm gonna try not to make it too. And I trust my glue joint enough to where I, I feel like I can hold it by the headstock like this and not fear it breaking. Okay, now I'm going to shoot another little light coat of that color on there. Just a little bit. Vacuum is coming on. Johnny's gone anyway. How far are we into the show? I'm curious. That's oh, perfect. It's almost over. Perfect because I, you know, I don't have to do the fret work today then, because that's just so tedious anyway. No one, no one wants to watch that again. But maybe I can do it during the uh, string change show tonight, Johnny. All right. So now I'm gonna hold yeah. it up. So. Yeah, yeah. Do it. Do it tonight. That's fine. Now I'm gonna hold it up. Now I'm gonna hit it again with some of this. This brown american brown walnut kind of whatever color oops oh crap oh crap <laughs> i should have had my phone plugged in this whole time yeah we're, we're about to go out to the cafe and get, get breakfast and stuff. Cool, man. Yeah, it looks good. All right, so, so you guys can see that. And I think I will. You know what? It doesn't work that good that way. Let me go over here like this again. How's that look? See, now, so you can definitely see the crack still open. So I might actually wait for this to dry, and I might actually fill that with some super glue. Or another technique would be to take some of the clear lacquer and spray it into the cap, spray it into the cap, and then with a brush, apply it over that so that fills in like nice and thick, and then sand it even. So it would take multiple steps to do that. But that's maybe a, a, a good way to do it. Um, so it's just lacquer in there. Or I can use super glue. I've got some super glue in the room next door. But super glue can kind of be messy at times, you know. So now we're back on the front face here where I can do another light sand. And 
knock down those couple spots that were showing here. And then I'll shoot this upright and hopefully that'll eliminate the possibility again of some particulate matter landing on the headstock. But it's looking really good, man. If you guys saw the picture of what this headstock break looked like in the beginning, who saw that? Who saw that? I didn't. So it was pretty nasty looking on the face here, especially. And considering how nasty that was looking, this this is turning out really, really nice, man. Really, really nice. Really nice. 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 That's nice. really nice. <laughs> I'm going to knock it down again with some of this stuff. Oh, Man, you got all kinds of laughs. Laugh back heaven, man. <laughs> uh, I'm sure everyone in the chat will agree with me that Johnny's got one of the best laughs in all of YouTube. Oh, really? Thanks. The best. Man, that was funny. <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to stay awake during this show. Yeah, trying to stay awake. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I even had, I need my tea. You were up late, right? Playing GTA. I was up till three in the morning. What were you guys doing? Did you have a mission? We were doing crazy stuff. <laughs> That's what's fun about that game. You don't have to like necessarily do the game. You can just go in there and like be crazy. Get all your crazy out through your system. right so like i said this can be tedious not you know not everyone wants to spend an hour doing this kind of thing you know? <laughs> right johnny watching the you show you, mean? you definitely don't All right, suck it up with the vacuum again. Here we go. Get ready, Johnny. Plug your ears. stuff all right here we go now this should be the final coating on the surface so i'm going to use a uh, satin or satin finish because this is rock and roll baby. <laughs> and some people might use like a what do they call it? That uh, sticky paper stuff that, um, well, I don't know. Silly putty? There's that, that uh, tack cloth, tack cloth that you could use. Have you used tack cloth, Johnny? I have no idea what that is. It's like, uh, it has like pine sap, like they use in baseball to put on your glove. So when you hit the bat, hit the ball with the bat, the bat doesn't slip out of your hand. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm going to get the old, uh, good old 
Looking around, looking around at it. As soon as I'm done with this part, I'm going to flip it upside down on here, like that, yeah, so that I can then uh, continue on the other side. And we're almost done. Shake it up, boop, 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 beep, boop, boop. We'll show you guys at the end how it looks or in the end at the end <laughs> so i'm not gonna sand any of this now because that dust might go on there in a couple minutes it'll be dry enough to where i can sand this but should i go get the super glue or should i fill this with a with a brush i'm thinking super glue what do you guys think let me see what the hey paint neighbors in the house too what's happening yo what is happening? No, I don't want to leave the site. What are you talking about, computer? Yeah, leave. Oh, he just left. <laughs> Everybody, this is my show now. Welcome. This is Johnny Bean TV. Laz, Johnny Bean TV raid here on Laz says, or whatever the show is called. Welcome, everybody. Please like and share and subscribe to my channel. Johnny Bean. Ah, Johnny. <laughs> He's already... Oh. He's promoting now. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny because my, my wife was like, my wife was like, oh, why is he saying these things that your channel sucks and his channel is better and go there? And I'm like, honey, don't take it so personally. We're just having fun with each other, you know. But uh, <laughs> you know, a bunch of people got rubbed the wrong way with that one. And I'm like, dudes, if you can't take it in this freaking crowd, then don't even do YouTube. But yeah, I'm <laughs> yeah, busy naming paint. That's right, paint namer. What do you think about the? What do you think about the name of this paint? Medium brown American walnut. Can't see it. Anyway, so yeah, so I don't know. What do you guys think about my plans for this thing? So I'm planning the the mod the holy crap out of this that whatever mod you can do to an acoustic i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a new new uh how much how, how much modding can you do to a regular old acoustic guitar well i can put a new saddle on there i can put brass pins in there i can put a new bone nut in the you in can the put nuts. titanium pins on i that. can get some fu tone titanium you can yeah you dude can. i'll get some pink ones I'll, you, you know what definitely. i'll go jason becker and go different colors you can go to like, fu-tone.com. Yeah. Or I'll get Roxy Green, Indigo Blue, and Maximus Yellow Green Blue. And we'll do that all along here. And then uh, and then I'm going to probably buff to finish off, change this pick guard to a tortoise shell one so it looks more cool. And, and you know, just get rid of the gloss because this is going to be a beach, beach party beater guitar. BPBG. <laughs> A and BPG? <laughs> yeah, a BPBG, a beach party beater guitar. This thing actually has electronics, dude. So I, I could plug this into my little Black Star Fly Mini at the beach and we could freaking rock out. Yeah. But yeah, and then I'm going to like do use my my uh, Dremel and like scroll little Roxy's flying and Maximus is flying and Indigo's flying and who knows what the other creatures we used to have some fish so maybe i'll put some fish on there at the bottom like they're in the ocean down here i'm just gonna make this thing like this crazy modded guitar all mm -hmm. right so you guys want to see how that that finish turned out on the face yeah finish yeah, on the face I, I think i need to put some more <laughs> color more coloring on it but there you go man satin la la 
So if you saw what it looked like, oh, hold on, yeah. Let's not get like that. I'm going. To... So if you saw that break on this uh, on this headstock before I did this repair, you'll you'll know what a what a difference a day makes, right? Look at that. Right. And I can put a couple more coats on there just to make it even nicer and thicker and more protecting, which might as well, right? But I'll, I'll probably do this uh, later today or whatever, or right after the show. Um, I'm just going to let this finish set a little bit. And then I'm going to fill this crack with some super glue. You know, sand that off lightly and then do a satin finish over the entire neck here too. And that's it, man. That's the show. Johnny's gone already. He just left. <laughs> Symmetry, what's up? Happy Sunday. Craven Soda's here, dude. Too. Symmetry, we missed you yesterday, man. Good job. Yeah, Symmetry. We you, you on you the GTA, in... dude. Don John Deshane says, "Holy smokes, good morning." <laughs> what's up, John Deshane, man? Good morning. Thanks, morning. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out. Rax Effects, my buddy. Did you know that Rax Effects over here? I'm pretty sure it was him. It was you, right? Rax Effects. Bullet holes. I love it. <laughs> Extra sound holes. Bullet holes in the body. Jack Flash is here too. What's up, Jack Flash? Right on. Yeah, man. Everyone's saying hi to each other. Just going up the chat. BC Rich was also here saying laters to LM Guitar Corner. Try cornbread, bro says Nelson Rodriguez. And uh, yeah, cornbread is good. Bondo, yeah. yeah. I actually used, uh, should I show you what I used to fill the cracks? If you didn't see, go back and watch the other video, but this is what I used. I'll grab it from my little box of these here. Down here somewhere. Oh, I know where it is. I took it out. That's right, it's over here. Also, a Mohawk, 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 a Mohawk brand epoxy putty stick. So you open this little thing up here, you take it out, and you you basically you have the uh, two you know parts in there, and you just take off a chunk and mix Bye. it. Bye. I'll see you tonight, man. All right, man. Yeah, I'll see you tonight. And you just mix it together, and then you fill it, right, and buddy. it dries hard as a rock, man. It's just like a rock when it's done. So uh, that's what I used to fill this. So, But I'll fill this with some super glue. I think that's going to be the best way to do it quickly so, you know, it's done fast. And and then I'll add some little more color if I need to, and then buff off the, uh, the entire neck. I'm going to buff the entire neck and then just sat and finished the entire thing kind of like how i have the front of the headstock satin finish right and you can kind of see that dimple right there where the break was see that in the light right there you can see it right there you know a little bit of a dimple where the break was but you know i'm not trying to be perfect with this thing but it's it's on there man it's on there so I guess later today, after I finish my breakfast and stuff, I'll probably do the um, the uh, fret filing. And I've got my fret filing system here. I've got my fret filing tool, my Stumac diamond-coated fret filing, fret leveler right here. And I've got my micro mesh polishing system. You just go from top to bottom with this stuff. Right, I got my little, I got my little music nomad fret filing covers, or fret dressing covers, and that's pretty much it. And oh yeah, I've got like this little, this little diamond coated Stumac tool as well. I think you can see Stumac on there somewhere, right? Yeah, Stumac, right? To to dress the ends, you know, I even have I even have the fret dressing, fret end dressing tool that files, so I can use that as well. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll kind of get this thing. I've got to get some bone. I got to buy a bone uh, saddle for the uh, the saddle here, and I've got to get a bone nut for the nut, maybe, or maybe just put on a, a tusk nut or something like that. Um, so that's it, man. That's the show. 
So thanks, you guys, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little uh, series so far. Uh, the finishing touches will be done on this guitar during the rest of the day. Or maybe tonight, like Johnny said, maybe I can do the filing, the fret filing and all that stuff on the string chain show with Johnny. And then I'll be reinstalled, putting these Taylor. Okay, hang on. Taylor. Taylor tuners that I bought for like 50 bucks at uh, Dublin's Jams Music where M Margaret Scranton works. Yeah, as a teacher. So John DeShane's already drinking beer at 1030 in the morning. I'm going to have another coffee and finish my breakfast. And have a good Sunday, you guys. Enjoy, enjoy the day. And go Warriors. Or is it tomorrow night or tonight? Warriors come out to play. <laughs> I hope they win. I hope they win. All right, you guys. Until next time, rock on Music Therapy Laz. I got no bumper music yet, but I shall in the future. Until then, don't forget that the secret to tone is in your mind, but the feel comes from your heart. Put them together with some music. If you got little pink fingers, maybe that, that can be helpful as well. And rock on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one more sub to 500. Hey, Lucas, thanks for the counting. That's awesome. I, I picked up about, I'd say I picked up about 20 subs since NAM. So that's awesome. So, Laz, you might want to glue toothpicks in the holes of the old tuner. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that is a good idea. I do have those little holes there, the extra ones. And um, I was thinking, ah, screw it. Who's going to care? You know, I mean, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I will. I was not caring, but I could do that. You're right. I could do that. That would be an extra, an additional part of the job. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll finish the back of the headstock um, during the day, and I'll do the toothpick trick. So until then, you all, or I can just fill it with that epoxy stuff. <laughs> I have brown, too. <laughs> so until next time, you guys, Music Therapy Laz out. Thanks for joining me, and rock on, man. Go see some live music. Go see it. Rock it. Laters. <laughs>